Hey everyone, it's Randy from Dreamy Bohemian. I am coming to show you today two custom order sweet peas that I have done. And then just a little fun little something something here uh, that I did not too long ago. And um, I've started making a few more of these. But I'll show that to you in a minute. So we have a purple and a gold. And then we have a blue and a white here. And I think I'm going to start with the blue and the white. So I'm going to move this one over for now. And then let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you. Here we go. So this is Flora. And she has one of the beautiful frames that uh, Sheila found online. And she has been using the wax seals inside of hers and I have yet to perfect that so when I decided to use this for Flora I thought well I have this beautiful postcard and she's got such a beautiful lady in it I think I am going to put her in there and I think it turned out so lovely I just love her sweet face and so she is on one and a half inch gold rings to match the gold frame she has gold trim and um, some gold and champagne. Um, oops, <laughs> oopsie. Um, trim, dangle trim at the bottom. And then I've even worked in some silver here and then she's got a clear bead on this, a clear crystal bead on the side, which I thought was just gorgeous. And then a little heart bead here on the bottom it's iridescent and I just love that sweet little bead so you all know that um, the way that I do the sweet peas is um, the napkins the gesso the stamping the embossing the embossed paper the trims and uh, I've got a couple do I have a couple new things I do have a couple new things in here this time so this is the first page and I didn't put a bead on the front because I didn't want it to um, be hanging over that. I thought it would just be a little much and I thought Flora just looks so nice and clean and blue and crispy. I really liked her without that. So there's the first page and I put a little pretty piece of lace in there some gold trim on there and I've done some embossing and I think that turned out so pretty with um, the world's great greatest embossing powder and I'll put the links to everything that I use down in the bottom and some gold trim from Sheila there's some Tim Holtz paper um, that she and I have been using and it looks like this and it usually comes in a three pack of different um, patterns. Then I've got uh, the little Lavinia mini star stamp that I love to use. Sometimes I do silver, sometimes I do white, and sometimes I do gold. And uh, I just do a lot of mixture in here. And I've added um, some little dots here with a Posca pen. And if you don't know what that is, it's just um, an acrylic paint pen and they're called Posca and it just turned out so pretty with these little dots in there you could do it by with embossing powder too but it's a little bit easier to use the Posca pen and then I've got um, lace a little lace page here and that's what the bead is hanging off of the crystal one and this has one of Lorna's stamps um, if you would like to know how to get in touch with Lorna for any of her stamps, um, I will put that information down in the bottom as well. And then uh, here is the little heart dangle hanging off the lace there. I love this blue napkin that I used in here. I used it exclusively throughout this little journal and uh, I just think it is so darling, the little blue roses. So I've got ledger paper, some um, just thick, thicker white um, paper and emboss those things and some music paper throughout. There's some of the white paper. 
There's some of the ledger. Some Sheila's trim down there. And of course, um, I've got the gold leaf throughout as well. All the layers on these is what makes them so nice. You just see something new kind of every time you turn the page. It's just little pieces of art on every page. I used the butterfly in the Tim Holtz paper this time. I haven't used it before, um, but I love the way that looks. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I, I really like it. I thought with Flora, she needed a butterfly, so I think it has turned out so sweet. And I've got the sweetest little lace at the bottom of her pages. Another little lace page. There's a embossed, gold embossed butterfly. I think the colors of blue are, are just so sharp and, uh, and crispy. I really like how they turned out. And I love to just kind of do half of a stamp on a page. Um, it just, I don't know, it just makes it look really pretty. When you cut the index cards, um, you know, if you're using a big stamp, it's going to cut it in half anyway, which I don't mind. And sometimes I just use the corner of a stamp because I just like the way that it looks. There's a little bird house, a bird cage stamp. I love that stamp. And I love to do it in white. There's some of the dangle trim. And I love to put tabs um, on these pages so that there's something really nice hanging out in the, on the edge. And I put some little sequin trim out here. And um, there was a little silver uh, piece of trim there. And there was some more of the sequin there. Little canceled stamp, stamp. <laughs> Isn't that trim beautiful? And there's some more of those Posca pen dots. I kind of like to do it. The Tim Holtz paper doesn't go completely transparent when you put it on. And so I, I think with those dots on there, um, it gives your eyes something else to focus on besides that. I've got some teeny tiny little number stamps. You know those cheap little number stamps that you get? Like, I think I got mine at Michael's in the dollar or two dollar bin or something. And I, I just like to randomly stamp numbers every now and again. There's another little eyelet tab with some gold bling. This page has silver and gold on it. There's some cute little lace with some dots in it there. I think it's so cute. And see what I mean? This is a um, part of a larger stamp. Actually, it's um, the Versailles stamp. So if you can see that, um, that's just part of the, the scrolly parts on the side. Another little bling piece, some stars, some dots. The, actually, the more random I do things, the more I kind of like it. <laughs> so here I've done a couple of swirls. And then here's another new thing that I've added. And this, um, it just came in some filigree, a filigree pack. Let me see if I can get this open. But it's got random things in there. And I got it on Amazon. And so it's got these um, moons and, of course, these. And so that's what's here. It's like a page corner. And they're really light. And so they just glue right on nicely. So I put one here and then I put one there. But this has um, stars in it. Uh, let's see what else is in there. It's like a little mandala. Oops, I stuck it in there. So just lots of um, different little pieces. Oh, I like this one too. So I'll link that down below as well. This would be fun for a lot of projects. And I'm also all, almost to the end of Flora. And I love to get a little riffle trim on there. And then 
put um, I cut out a little tiny piece of Sheila's trim and put it on the edge. Just love the way that turns out. I look so elegant. Here is the last page and it has the um, dangle trim on the end there. And then that is Miss Flora. And like I said, she was a custom order. And so I hope that her new owner is gonna like her. Then we have Mia. This is Mia. And Mia is going to a college student and um, her college colors are purple and gold. And so, uh, you know, I love purple. Um, so every alternating page is purple or gold in here. And then I've got um, a purple sari ribbon as the bow on the front, and I've got a giant um, iridescent crystal bead on here. I just thought that was so pretty. It picks up blues and purples. It's just gorgeous. And then there's a bottom bead, and I've got that attached with um, a little jump ring that I got in this pack of jump rings that I got on Amazon. I'll link those. I haven't been able to find just this little jump ring pack again. Um, they usually come, come with uh, what I've seen now is silver and gold and sometimes they come with a little uh, a little tool so I'll try to find that exact one for you though. So this one um, has all the regular components to it and it's got a few little custom details in it which I will show you when we get there. So I used my big block stamp on this which has it's just a font and I got this at Michael's a long time ago you all probably have this and as you see um and I just this is some I don't ink the whole thing I just kind of randomly ink it and then it just gets on some parts of the page um and I thought that was so pretty for the front page just that little bit of gold flash there I really like how that turned out. I'll try to get my light down a little bit more. And Tim Holtz paper as usual, some gold bling. So this side bead is um, also jump ringed onto this little bit of bling here. Isn't that pretty? Some gold. And I love how the white embossing um, turned out on those gold pages. I thought that turned out really nicely. Um, so this person, um, the the music paper is a custom detail for her, although I do put music paper in a lot of things. There's some little stars, some more stamping. I put a little bit of blue in there just um, for a little touch of something else because um, I didn't want everything to be solid purple and gold. But there's that uh, Versailles stamp again. You see how it just looks so pretty on there. And I've done tabs in this journal. Oops, and I think my little bobble fell off. I have to put that back on. Uh, I didn't show you this. Isn't that some pretty trim there? I can't remember where I got this. I feel like I got it in a Happy Meal. So beautiful. Here's some more blue. And um, what I did here is, so I have a little pin and it has, um, it's called the emboss it pin from Ranger. And so you can write wherever you want to uh, emboss also instead of using a stamp. And so this napkin that I used on here, I went in between the color and then put the embossing powder on it and it turned out so cool. Um, I can link that for you as well. But I really, really like how that turned out. It's just a totally different look. There's another little Lavinia stamp, the little leaf, and I love her stamps. So here is one of the custom details, LSU, because that's where she's going to college. And I love this purple color here. This is uh, one of Kate's trim colors. Um, it's kind of a very rich plum color. Some more gold 
the Tim Holtz paper. I love the addition of the big flower pieces in this one. The um, the person who requested it said, you know, obviously the little, the, the younger girl is probably not going to journal in it. She'll just look at it. So I didn't really leave any open space, which kind of, um, you know, sometimes I don't anyway, but um, I really was enjoying using the larger tissue paper pieces in here. So this is another piece of sari and um, just a little bit of uh, bling on there. Some more gold trims. Isn't that, that is some um, metallic gold paint. What I used was this, it's by Craft Smart and it's gold ore. It turns out so beautiful on pages. It's nice and shiny. Did some more of that font uh, stamp there. And then here I just cut out some pieces of the floral trim that Sheila has. This was in our purple pack. Some more bling. And um, the LSU mascot is the tigers, so I just wrote out tigers here with some little um, letter stamps that I had. Just another tab. And um, she does dance, and so um, the only dancer that I could find that really would fit in here was a ballet dancer, but I used that pin again, the ranger pin, and then I outlined her dress and her crown and her little ballet shoes. I just thought it was so cute. Some more of that trim that I cut out. There's a little floof. And here's another piece of that napkin, and then I um, I did the insides again, and I thought it looked like the moon. It looks really cool on this page. And then I just put some purple fabric on there. There's some more of that. So I put some uh, fabric here from ages ago, purple packages from Sheila, and then some of the trim that she recently did. I just kind of fussy cut around the trim and able to, in order to use that. Another gold tab. And here's a little piece of uh, purple fabric that I found that had some, it looks like it had some gold stamping on it actually. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Some more music paper. Another big flower tissue paper piece. And I took that pen and um, just kind of did some little accents on that stamp. Um, and there's another LSU stamp and some more of the blue, just for some interest. And then I did LSU over here. And this is the last page. And I think she turned out so pretty, and I love that blue on the top there. And this is Mia. Super, super pretty with that purple. And so, this little guy right here, um, I was posting it in the group, uh, in the Facebook group, and somebody suggested that I call it a little sugar baby. Because this is a little teeny tiny sweet pea. It's got the same process as the sweet pea. But it's only one index card, and it's actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it's eight little cards. So it's one in index card cut up into eight pieces. Um, you know, I just folded it in half and then kept folding it in half um, equally to see what I would get. And so look at that little, isn't that cute, that, <laughs> that little dangle? Uh, bead dangle, and then I do even a smaller one down here. I managed to get one, two, three tabs, and two ruffles, and a little floof in here, and then three um, pieces of bottom page dangle, and the bow. I thought it turned out so cute. So here's what she looks like. I used a little rose napkin. And I love that color on there. It's uh, some coral sari. And then I just put a little sparkle flat back bobble in there. 
And so for this, I just punched the smallest hole in my crocodile and then put a little jump ring on there and attached that. So because the um, bulb pins, they're too big for this. It didn't quite work out. And there's another little tab. It's a little floof. Another little um, trim at the bottom. This is a fabric flip up. I thought that was hysterical. Another, a little yellow tab and a darker pink tab. And this is another little flat back, um, little detail flower that I just had laying around. And then there's a little, there's a little journaling card <laughs> or tag or whatever. And that little belly band right there. Some more lace at the bottom and some rose napkin details and then a little ruffle with the tiniest bit of sequin detail there. And then that's that's her little sugar baby. And so my sister is visiting. And so we did these last night. They still have the gold uh, leaf on them. We've got to scrape it off. We were just kind of waiting for it to dry. So we're going to um, see how these turn out. And I've ordered a little bit bigger uh, ring because I was using the biggest ring in here and it's not quite big enough to let it free flow like it'll get the eight pages in here but it's a little tight and so I wanted to see if I could get a little bit bigger one so um, I think I've ordered 15 or 16 millimeter and I'm not sure what, what this one is I probably ordered it too big I'm probably gonna have to um, really figure that out. Let's see. Where's the millimeters? Inches. Inches. Where's this metric up here? So this looks like, oops. <laughs> this looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it looks like six or seven millimeters oops um so it's possible that it could be too big what i ordered but maybe not but it's, it's double this and i was trying to make it with some just with some wire with some 20 gauge wire but um it wouldn't it just wasn't strong enough so see we'll see what happens um when that comes in but i thank you guys so much for stopping by uh it's almost Friday tomorrow and I hope everybody's looking forward to a wonderful weekend. I know that I am and I really appreciate you stopping by. Oh, I was going to tell you, um, I got my new business cards and so there's all my information. There's my Instagram, my Etsy I opened back up, but I don't have anything in there yet, but I think I am going to put some, um, options for some sweet peas in there. And then um, there's my email address. So I thank you so much. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.